Guys, it's going down this weekend at UFC 294 with Makhlchev stepping into a rematch with Volkanovski. My partners at DraftKings are offering an incredible offer for all new customers who sign up using the promo code SUNNEN. New customers who bet just $5 on any of this weekend's fights will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly. You can even use your bonus bets on DraftKings Same Fight Parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds or method of victory. Remember, DraftKings is the only place where you can bet Same Fight Parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. So click on the link below and download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. So Kamar Usman yesterday doing an open workout with Justin Gaethje. And Kamar hits a double leg, picks him up, brings him down to the mat. So now they're on the mat. Justin Gaethje, who's on bottom, instantly sits up, grabs his friend and partner and says, are you okay? Kamar Usman responds to that question. That clip instantly gets put on the interwebs, except with a quote from Kamar Usman answering the question where he says, no, I heard it pop. Now, the problem with that is Kamar did not say that. Kamar did not say and cannot be heard saying in response to the question, are you okay? No, I heard it pop. That didn't happen. Kamar Usman came out and he cleared this up. Luke Thomas responds to Kamar Usman clearing this up. Kamar saying, no, that didn't happen. My knee did not pop. I didn't say it pop. He actually thought that I hit my head and I didn't. I told him, no, I'm good. Not, no, I heard it pop. All right, fine. But Luke Thomas responds to that and says he, meaning Kamar Usman, could be saying that because it's totally true. He could also be saying that to stave off any commission officials looking into a perceived injury and potentially removing him from the fight. Boom. Luke's right. Real simple, but Luke is right. I don't know that we need to break this down. I feel as though this would be obvious to you guys, but. It's not. Based on comments and other things that I read, somehow this isn't. Look, the commission will largely take you at your word. They really don't have much of another choice. Like, there's not a huge situation where you walk in and the commission goes, hey, how's your arm feeling? And you say, it's fine. The commission goes, oh my God, no, it's not. It's broken in three different places. Like, there's not really an ability to do that. There's an honor system. Now, your honor is going to be put to the test. After you fill out the form and sign the bottom, if you lied on that form and committed fraud, it could put your license in jeopardy into perpetuity. I cannot tell you of a time. I know a number of fighters that have lied on that form, had the fight, come out immediately and said, I lied on the form just to get the fight. And they either do that to cover a loss as a built-in excuse, or you get the real scumbags that got a victory but want the world to know they could have done even better. And I've never heard of a commission ever coming back and saying, we, we, we did this form and you signed it. But you could, in theory, it's what it's there for. Not to mention, if you did get hurt in the fight, you file an insurance claim and you go get the treatment and have that policy cover you when you openly were hurt elsewhere. I mean, you're committing fraud and crimes in a number of different ways. It's an extremely odd thing to do. But that is the checks and balances, and you will be taken at your word. Are you okay? Yes. Can you find? Yes. That's our answer then. Check the box, sign here, date it in the bottom left. So if Kamar Usman was hurt and he thought that was on video, and he's just so goddamn tough that he's going to go and fight a guy that nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to fight Jemai with a Full training camp. They still don't want him. And Kamar Usman's so tough, he will go to another continent and get licensed and compete at a weight class that he has never been in without proper preparation and with a knee injury 
to the point that he is going to come out publicly as a way of deceiving the commission. Like, all of those things are possible. Luke, Luke isn't wrong. It is one of the two things. He's either doing what I just stated, or he's doing the other option that Luke gave him, which is he's just telling the truth. If you watch the video, at no point does Kamar Usman say, no, it popped. At no point does he reference a knee. I mean, that's one of the things that was so interesting about the people that chose to put out the video and run with it. First off, they said he said something that he cannot be heard saying, having said. And secondly, they chose knee. He didn't favor a knee. You didn't see him hit his knee. He didn't get up and grab a knee. He didn't say the word knee. They not only had a quote that he didn't do, they had an injury that he never spoke about. And I just share with you, that is the most awesome built-in excuse that I possibly have ever seen. And Kamar Usman could have said, I don't want to speak about it. I'm ready to fight. Hey, there'll be no excuses. He could have done a lot of things looking brave, said certain things to look brave, while very clearly allowing a narrative to exist that he, in fact, is hurt. That is how brave he is. That he is willing to lie if that's what it takes to get in there. That's how much he believes that the show must go on. Right? There was ways he could have done that. It's just not what he did. Kamar Usman, not, not only did he not do that, not only that built an excuse, he actually called the people that were giving him the excuse and or believed in the excuse crazies. He didn't want their support. He didn't want their excuses. He didn't want that feathered nest to fall on. To the point that he wasn't even nice about it. Then you had his partner, Justin Gaethje, come out. Justin cleared this up as well. And by the way, th these are two guys who have a history of when they say something that's accurate. Right? They, they don't troll. They don't promote. They don't storytell. They get asked questions. They answer them honestly. So you now have the principles in the event telling you that's not what happened. We also have a video of it, and it's not what happened. But you have other people that post the video and then tell you what it says. That is fascinating to me. All right, this isn't the first time. This isn't the first time. They will tell you about dinosaurs that existed 30 million ago, years ago. Everything about them. How they lived, what they ate, where they mated. They can't tell you who shot JFK and that's on videotape. I mean, it's a really interesting thing. It's a really interesting thing for somebody in the media to put out a video and then tell you what's within the video. You watch the video. That's not what's within the video, but you've already read it and it says it was in the video. So then you believe the print as opposed to your lying eyes. It is an amazing thing. I can't think of a time that I've actually lived through and witnessed in person something like this. Here is a video. <laughs> but then there's a caption. The caption tells you what happened, even though your eyes and ears watch it tell you something else. But you ch choose to believe the caption because it came from somebody else. It was an amazing thing. And Luke Thomas is right. Either Kamara is shooting straight with us and the video that we heard and saw was not doctored. Or Kamara was so goddamn brave that he's willing to do this fight against a guy that nobody in the company will fight, even with a full training camp. Mara said to hell with the camp, and I'll also fight him on one leg. One of those stories is correct.